Hey, what's up? What's going on? It's your girl, Mary Jane. Please like, subscribe, share. It would be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peoples, my peeps. So let's get into it. We're going to be talking about Empire Season 3, Episode 17. Let's go. Basically, we start off with Cookie enters the casino. I believe it's with her two sisters. And Cookie looks drop-dead gorgeous. She has on this beautiful, immaculate dress slash gown. And it's filled with beautiful colors. And on top of that, she has that curly, wet and wavy weave in her hair that looks good. Then we cut to the scene where um, Lucius, Juliana, and Charlene, um, the Vegas commissioner, are about to have a drink, about to have a toast. And so Lucius offers Charlene a drink, and it's not alcoholic. She takes it. And so Charlene's about to give a toast and she says to you people and then Lucius looks at her and then Charlene goes um I mean you people in hip-hop <laughs> so she changed it up real quick and Lucius looking at her like damn she is a racist and all that other good stuff so then we cut to and so then you see um Cookie she's in the casino she's gambling and basically Cookie does not supposed to be in the casino at all there is like photographs of cookie and you know ipads ipods that if you see this woman's face please escort her out to a casino basically and so one of the guards at the casino he sees cookie face and after the toast that lucius has with charlene um the guard is comes over to lucius and shows him saying that hey cookie's here so lucius goes downstairs and Cookie is playing blackjack, and I don't know if she's winning or losing. And so um, the guards are coming to escort um, Cookie out of the casino, and Lucius is standing looking. And so, and Juliana's on the balcony top looking down at Cookie, and Cookie's making a big scene saying, Get off of me, guards. You don't know who the fuck you're messing with. So Cookie starts to take chips and she throw them in the air. And that's, 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 I believe that's Ginger from Casino. That's like, that's, you know, from that movie Casino, because Casino was one of my favorite movies back in the 90s, or it's still one of my favorite movies, so believe it, I think it was Ginger that threw the chips up in the air um, in Casino. So anyways, then it cuts to um, two weeks earlier, and so then two weeks earlier, you see um, Hakeem, Hakeem is down, he's out, he's still missing his, his daughter, Bella. And so he's running up to any woman and everything that has a baby, running up to him like a crazy, like a bed out of hell crazy, trying to see if that's his baby, Bella, Bella, Bella. And so he does it at the, he does it at the Empire's headquarters. And Cookie says to um, Lucius, he, this is the second time he did this this week. Any woman with a baby, Hakeem thinks it's Bella and he runs up on him. And so, um, Cookie is telling Lucius that, you know, we need to stay by his side. He needs help. And so Lucius is like, you know what? I'm going to take care of this. We're going to get Bella back. No doubt. And I believe Lucius, he looks serious. And I like Lucius' haircut. His, his little shape-up fade looks looks all right. So anyways, um, so after that, you know, um, Cookie tells Lucius, we need to stay here. And we can't leave Hakeem. And, and Lucius is like, I got to go. Gian Juliana's waiting on me. She needs me. My baby needs me, baby. And Cookie is just so distraught and so hurt. I don't even know why she's so surprised at Lucius. Because this is what Lucius does to her. She should have married Angelo and kept it moving. <laughs> so anyways, so then after that. We go on, and so you get you cut to the scene where Cookie is working with Jamal. Jamal is singing. The song sounds good. It almost sounds like a Michael Jackson song, and but not like Michael Jackson's voice. So he's singing, and you know Cookie's working on it, and all this other stuff. Cookie gets on the phone. I, I thought this part was funny. She gets on the phone, and she's trying to order something that has to do with Jamal VIP, basically. And she goes, "Dummy, you can't hear me, dummies. You bunch of dummies." I'm like, "Who is she talking to on the phone like that?" So then Jamal stops in the midst of his performance because he wants to talk to his mother. Then that's when Lucius walks in. and um, But before then, you know, Jamal talks to Cookie and he tells Cookie that. And so Cookie's telling Jamal that, you know, I want to release this early. I want to get this popping and all the music out there and all this other stuff. And I want to, you know, we're going to talk to 
one of the PR people and try to get a release early. And so Jamal's just looking. And so then Lucius walks in the room and Lucius is like, what's going on here? Somebody need me, basically. So Lucius walks in and he walks in with this dude. His name is Brian Moore, basic as Brian Moore. And he tells Jamal and he tells Cookie that he's replacing the old PR person. He's a new PR person and he's the best in the business. And they're going to put a hold on Jamal releasing his album now because everything needs to be focused on Eferno, Eferno, you know, Eferno. And so, you know, and Lucius is saying this is the best PR person in the world. Juliana knows him. He's worked with the likes of you know who. And so Cookie is like, oh, if Juliana knows him or hired him, I don't want nothing to do with him, basically, and all that other good stuff. And so Lucius is like, this this is what it is. And so Jamal's like, Jamal's just, Jamal's like, B, it seems like Jamal's going to get back on drugs pretty soon dealing with his family. And so... Cookie's like, damn, Juliana's really stabbing me with this knife, basically, and she's getting it. And so then, you know, Lucius tells Cookie that she's not to show up at the casino. She's not to be at the casino. She's blackballed, basically. And that's his casino with Juliana. That's Juliana's casino, and that's his casino, and and um, Cookie is blackballed. So I, I don't know if that was edited real quick into that scene because of Monique claiming she was blackballed by Lee Daniels. So I don't know if that's a shot at Miss Monique. So anyways, so now we see where Lucia's loyalty lies right now. It lies with Juliana and this casino. And he's not letting nothing get in the way. And he's letting Cookie know she is on the back burner, baby. But we already knows we already know what's going to happen with this situation. So anyways, you know, so then we go to Juliana is in her office. She's with Lucius. Um, Thirsty's there as well. And they're meeting up with, um, this is two weeks early, they're meeting up with the commissioner that basically can get Lucius and Juliana their um, license to have their own casino to operate. And so, Mrs. Frost. So then, you know, Lucius offers her alcohol. She goes, I don't drink, I'm Mormon. Then Lucius offers offers her coffee she goes I don't drink caffeine either and so then you know um Thirsty steps up and says I'm so sorry uh, Mrs. Frost it's my it's my fault I shouldn't have I should have known that there's something that I I skipped that detail I'm very sorry for that and so Juliana is very upset she's mad and and um what is her name uh, Mrs. Frost is like you know you know get in contact with me later on because we need a little bit more to add to this inferno Inferno, you know, crap and everything like that because it's kind of something missing. I don't want to make sure everything is in line and in place. So give me a call when everything is legit because basically she feels insulted. So as Mrs. Frost leaves, that's when Juliana says to, you know, Lucius that, you know, she doesn't trust Thirsty and Thirsty is very sloppy. And so Lucius says he's not sloppy. It's just, it's just the way he dressed. He buy two for one suits. <laughs> so I thought that was funny when she said, when, when Lucia says that's just the way he dressed. And so, and then, and then, um, Thursday is, is eating and drinking and it looks like, you know, he's sloppy or whatever. And so then, you know, and so Gianna says, I just don't trust him. And Lucius goes over there to Thursday and she fires him. So, Thirsty's leaving. I can't believe Lucius will fire Thirsty. For some reason, I think this is a plot or a ploy, but we'll see. So Thirsty's packing up his shit and he's leaving. And as he's leaving, he sees Cookie in the hallway. And so Cookie's seeing him with the box boxes. And Cookie is like, What's going on, Thirsty? And um Thirsty was like, you know, I got the axe. I got fired, basically. And then so um Cookie was like, Was it Juliana's doing? And he was like, Yes. And Thirsty goes, I didn't know Lucius ass was Lucy's head was so far up Juliana's ass and Cookie was like mm. and she's looking she was like oh I can't stand that bitch and then so Thirsty says to um, Cookie you know you're a real G I always, I always respected your gangster and, and he was like you're a good mom too as well and so Cookie's thinking her mind's going so Cookie says to Thirsty you know what come to my house we're gonna have a meeting and so then, you know, Thirsty shows up to her house. And so Thirsty Thirsty shows up to Cookie's house. At Cookie's house, it's basic. So everyone's in, everyone's there. It's Jamal. It's Hakeem. It's um, Portia. It's um, Shine. It's um, basically all of um, Cookie's people are there. And then also Hakeem's thugs are there as well. 
And so um, Cookie starts off saying that this is Team Cookie. We're going to bring down Juliana. And, you know, you know, Lucius is trying to take everything from us. We need to get into that deal. Basically, um, Cookie is trying to give them a pep talk, a speech to let them know why they're there. Thirsty comes. He's there. Andre's there. Everyone's basically there that rocks with Cookie. And so then... Um, for some reason, Jamal and Shine gets into it. Um, basically, you know, Shine says, "Yeah, I, 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 that bitch Juliana, she, she pulled, she pulled this and like that." He says, "He goes, she pulled," and so then, then Andre jumps towards, you know, Andre j jumps towards Shine and say, "Hey, shut up, don't say anything," and so. Cookie's like, hold on, hold on, wait. And so then, because Cookie's trying to get information, because basically Shine was going to tell Cookie that, you know, Juliana shot Raphael, her husband. So anyways, um, um, Shine is not able to tell Cookie this information because Jamal, I mean, because um, Andre is fighting with Shine. So they end up fighting or whatever. And so then they end up breaking up the fight between them two. Shine says, I'm out. I don't want nothing to do with this. I'm not going to work with this crazy motherfucker. Get him on his pills. Get him on his medication. Do something. I ain't working with this, this fool. This dude is crazy. So he walks out. Hakeem says he doesn't want anything to do with this because he's worried about his baby. And, you know, and Jamal's like, I don't want nothing to do with this plan to go against dad because, you know, I got an album coming out. I got things to focus on. I don't want to be bothered with this shit anymore. So you could tell Jamal is really stressed. So it looks like Jamal might be doing drugs. <laughs> it looks like Andre has took his medication this episode. So anyways, they leave. And they ain't with Cookie. <laughs> they leave. Hakeem leaves. Andre leaves. Shine leaves. Um, they're ghosts. So only people that are there is just Portia. And Andre was there, but he's like, oh, good, good plan, mom. Good plan, mom. And so Andre walks out. So basically, it's, so it's just Portia and it's Thirsty. And then Thirsty says, oh, what a team you put together. You put a, you, you put together a terrible team. And so Cookie's like, I know I put together a terrible team. God damn it. Tell me something new. So then Thirsty says, I got some people. And get get your people together. Whoever you trust, get them together. And we're going to handle this business. And we know Thirsty's about that life. He's going to make sure whoever side he's on, they win, basically. He's going to do everything he can to get it together. So anyways, um... Cookie is just like she just have her plans falling apart. So Becky meets up with um Nessa to tell Nessa her whole music budget budget has been cut. And then Tiana walks in, was like, Why is my makeup orders um it's not here anymore? How come that's been cut? And so, you know, but I must say Nessa, that dress Nessa had on with the, the tie-in and the, the, the black straps tied up everywhere. That tan, that dress was everything. Let me tell you, you look good. And so, you know, Becky tells both of the ladies that everything has been cut. I've been cut. You guys have been cut. Every All the money is going to be focused on Inferno. That's where all the money is going. Everything has been cut, basically. And But I must mention, when it was Thirsty, Lucius, and Jul Juliana in the meeting, um, there was a safe, and Juliana was opening the safe. That's where she keeps her ledges. And when she saw Thirsty knew where her ledges was, that's when she was really like, I don't trust him, and made sure he got fired. So anyways, my Becky is telling Tiana and Nessa that they ain't got no budget, and her budget's been cut. Thirsty comes in. He goes, Grasshopper, I need you, and he does like this. You smell me? You feel me, dude? So now it's you. You smell me? They're bringing that back, I guess, unless I got that wrong. So anyways, you know, Thirsty was like, I need you, Grasshopper, to handle some business, some personal business. And so, you know, Grasshopper, when Grasshopper and 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 Grandma Groove was in the car, that shit was mad funny. So that, that episode was mad funny. So anyways, then we get back to, um, I need you for some personal business. And then we get to um, Lucius. Lucius is at his house. He's, he's having dinner, basically, and it's some type of cake or whatever. And then his mother comes over to his plate, and she moves his plate, and she switches switches it out for another plate and so Lucius is like why you do that for and um, Miss 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 Leah goes no reason and so Lucius investigates the plate that she moved and he finds out there's glass in here mom you put this glass in here why is there glass in here and then Leah goes that Fatima bastard should never come back here I don't want Fatima's bastard here so when I was telling you in the last episode I believe um Leah has something to do 
where um the grandbaby disappearing I, I i believe it's between leah and andre so anyways lucius is like this crazy bitch and then there's a the doorbell and then it is Tariq. Tariq shows up so and then Tariq is like, how did you find me? And 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 Lucian says, that's not one person I can't find. When you're important like me or there's nobody I can't find, basically. When I want to get something, I get it. And you're an important person, I can get you. And so they, they start to have a conversation. And so Lucius is telling Tariq, I need your help. You know, my granddaughter has disappeared. You know, she got lost in the system. Some, somewhere, somehow, they took my granddaughter and I need your help to find her. And Tariq agrees, you know, at this point, Tariq and Lucius have made up for the time being. I don't know if Tariq is just doing this so he can get back at Lucius or if Lucius is going to get back at him. But right now, but who even, but right now, Tariq is down with Lucius and Lucius down with Tariq. And if mended fences and mended wounds, basically. So, anyways, um, Tariq is on the case to find that, to find the granddaughter. And it's just like, I can't believe Tariq is back and he's working with Lucius. I mean, I mean, people will do anything for money or he knows Lucius got him by the balls. So, but where is Tariq spending that money on? But Tariq did walk in there um, with a nice Sherlin, an old school Sherlin that I think was like a, a G and change, maybe 1500 He had a nice black old school Sherlin on. So anyways, then we get, then we get to, um... Um, Cookie got her team together. She got her two sisters. She got her sister's husband. And she has Becky. And she has Portia. And she has Hakeem Stuggs. And Thirsty. Basically, they're getting together to put a plan to get into the casino to get the ledges so they can destroy the casino deal with Juliana and put Juliana in jail. And so um, the only person that knows where that safe is is um, Thirsty. Thirsty knows where the safe is because he's seen it. So he, he tells him there's only one way in and one, one, one way out. It's inside the casino. Basically, we're going to need somebody to crack the safe. So they have they bring in a safe and Becky's practicing on the safe, become the safe. So she's practicing on this big, huge safe because she's the only one that really can get in there, I guess. And so then, you know, the sisters are going to be used as distractants to, be, to distract um Lucius and Juliana and basically the employees there um Carol Candace is going to be like a high roller where her husband spend the money basically to try to get to the vault and distract that person which will be Juliana and then you're going to have um Candace she's supposed to distract one of the bodyguards so she can get back there and so Becky can go open the safe and then you're going to have and then um Cookie's distraction is going to be when she throws the chips up in the air. She starts yelling and screaming, and she gets kicked out the casino. So this, what they showed us in the beginning, then it goes two weeks later. This is this is when the plan is set in place. It's all thirsty, works with him once he gets fired. So, so the plan is in place, and it is what it is at this time and point. So they're working on their plan, and so the sister, so Candace got to be sexy and all that other good stuff and Carol she's going to be pretending like she's a high roller where and she and you know she can fit the part and her husband can fit the part and so basically her husband is playing blackjack to make it seem like he's really a high roller and Becky is practicing on a safe so once they get all that together Becky finally opens up the safe when she's practicing and so now they're going to move forward so they fly to Vegas and so then you have um Candace and Carol and it's badass Bentley with the music blasting and they just jam and boom 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 so it was like look at these 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 chicks is fly they fly so so they're chilling then you got thirsty he's out in a um a Winnebago or or a, a little them houses on wheel basically with all cameras and everything they have microphones because they they get their stuff up with microphones so they can take pictures so when you know um Kevin which is um Candace's husband goes to goes to the vault with Juliana she has to type in her her pin code that they, they, he used the pin camera on his shirt to make sure that they get it so thirsty you know takes on the code to give to Becky all that other good stuff so their plan is in motion so far it's working everything's going perfect Cookie's doing her distraction and Candace Carol's not able to distract the guard he's he's actually into um, Becky so Becky is used to distract him by talking about the military so Carol has to go back there into the safe area and get the ledges and she's nervous she's panicking 
and so cookie talks her into it so she's able to do it the cameras goes off and so then you get andre he shows up after the meeting is kind of semi over with mrs frost or mrs charlene and then um he introduces himself to uh, mrs frost and he says, oh, Pop, I just came here to warn you. But see, see, Ma, seeing that Mom's already downstairs, because, you know, Lucia says, oh, your mom was just here. You can do some destruction too as well. And so seeing that being said, you know, Andre is like, so my, so I, I was here too late. To, I was going to warn you. So basically, Andre is warning his father about his mom's plan. Because basically, you know, Andre wants to get close to his father as well and get it close to Mrs. Frost. And so, you know, Lucius is watching. Lucius knows something's going on, but he don't got Thirsty there to watch his back because he fired Thirsty. The only person he got watching his back is who? Juliana. And she's just using him. She's she's fiddling with him. She's playing him like a piano. A piano. <laughs> so anyways, Carol gets the ledges. They're all happy. Everything's all good. The plan works out. And it's like, cool. So then let's cut to where, so then after that, they all meet up in the one of Bago or the, I don't know, the house on wheels. Uh, and so everything is cool. They got the plan went through. They got everything going. So it seems like it's all good. It, it seems like everything's all good. Everything's going to work well. And so then you get to um, Tyreek. He finds out, he's following this lady. He finds out where um, Lucia's granddaughter is, which is, um, Bella, he finds out where she's at, basically. But before then, you know, um, Tariq, he kidnapped the social service worker and basically beat the shit out of the social... Him and Lucius beat the shit out of the, so, the um, social service worker, kick his ass, basically. And as they're beating his ass and this guy is saying horrendous things, like, I'm not going to dime out on my clients that pay me. Or, you know, there's bottom feeders in the system. Like, you know, people pay me to make sure that these kids don't become what the bottom feeders are in the system and all that other good stuff. So Tariq and Lucius are beating the shit out of this guy's ass. Lucius bounces. He got business to take care of. And then Lucius says, I'm so glad that we're together again, Tariq. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so happy we're together. I'm so happy that we can work as a team. We're back as a family. I, it's too bad it took this long. And Tariq looked like he's into it. He's down with it. And Lucius actually needs an ally other than Ju Juliana at this point. And basically he's happy to have Tariq back in his life and work with him and he knows Tariq knows a lot of people he knows the system he's the FBI he's the feds even though he's fired and on a run so Lucius promised to help him get back on his feet get back into the system or whatever it is so Tariq ends up finding where um the baby's at he finds out that it's where Angelo's mom and so he calls Lucius, leave him a message. Lucius doesn't pick up his phone. So then Tariq goes to Lucius's house to let him know the information about to have a drink. And then Miss Leah comes and stabs him in the neck and kills him dead because Leah does not want that Fatima bastard back in that house. And, and Lucius just looks up at his mom at Leah like, what the fuck? And basically as they're getting this close and you know and Tariq feels like he needs to help out his brother because that granddaughter is is his family too as well so it's like omg so it's crazy so then you end up seeing Andre Andre ends up meeting up with so then you have Cookie Cookie goes to meet up with uh, Mrs. Frost Charlene the, the gaming commissioner basically and he shows her the ledgers and she goes, oh, you know, Juliana can go to jail. Basically trying to get Juliana out the deal. So then Lucius walks into the meeting because he's warned by Andre. He walks in with a big bag of money. Bring me that money, Lucius. Mm-hmm. Walks in with a big bag of money and throws it on the table to give to, um, to give to, um, Charlene or Mrs. Frost. And she goes, oh, it's going to cost you more, way more than that now. With these ledgers and cookie was like, I didn't know Mormon takes bribes, it bribes, and then, um, the and then Mrs. Um, Frost says to Cookie, "You people always have so many stereotypes." Um, Cookie goes, "What do you mean, you people?" So then Lucia says, "Come on, let's just go." Cookie walks out. They leave, and then Andre comes in around the corner and tells 
and and talks to um Charlene and says, you know, she goes, you're gonna have to get a whole new family. She goes, I and then you know Andre's like, yeah, I'm working on that. Everything will be all good. And I, and they shake hands. Andre puts her hand on his chest. She can feel his heart pounding. And then they start to kiss. They start to make out. They're gonna get it. And she wants some of that black dick. I don't blame her. So anyway, so then after that, um, so then after that. So now Andre is actually making moves. He's actually being, he's actually outsmarting Cookie, Thirsty, and Lucius. Go, Andre. Go, Andre. Go, Andre. So Andre is doing that, basically. And so then he meets up with his mom. She's at her house. She's she's in her, she's wounded. She's crying, basically. But before then, you know, she tries to talk to Hakeem and Jamal to, to release their albums early, to do it before Eternal comes out, to do whatever they do whatever they can to get back at, you know, Lucius and Jamal. Hakeem is like, I don't want no part of it. Jamal's like, I, I just want to work with dad. I'm pushing my album back. And so then that's when Lucius walks into the room and was like, what's going on? And so, um, so Jamal was, so then, but before then, you know, Cookie was telling Hakeem, she was telling Hakeem like, yo, you got to trust your father. He's going to find Bella because they're having a conversation. Then Cookie jumps to a less release music because she wants to get back at, you know, Lucius some way, somehow. And so, you know, so Hakeem was like, I, I'm, I'm down with that. I got, I got Bella on my mind. And so then, you know, uh, Cookie was like, yo, your father's going to take care of, that's one thing he's going to do. You got to trust him. And so then, um, Jamal, so then Jamal is like, you know what, I, I'm going to wait. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, perform with dad in Vegas. I'm going to push my album back and let, you know, Inferno get all the attention that it needs and then put, drop my album. She goes, why? So Jamal. Because I just want to work with dad, you know what I mean? I'm just want to work with dad. I'm just tired of this bullshit. And basically, you know, Lucia just is showing, you know, his kids that he's actually trying to have a family. And Cookie right now is looking like Lucius used to look. So, anyways, they're both yelling. Hakeem and Jamal are both like, Mom, how can you tell us not to trust dad? You just told me to trust dad. She was like, Oh, don't trust him, blah, blah, blah. And so, and so, you know, this is when Lucius jumps in. When he's in his kindest moment and he says to his boys, leave your mom alone. You know, she's hurt right now. She just got, she got defeated. Let her go lick her wounds. Just give her some, give her a break, give her some peace. And they actually listen to him because he's actually taking Cookie's spot and Cookie's actually taking Lucia's spot. So Cookie goes into the back of the house and she's, and she's a wounded animal right now. She's a wounded lion. And so then that's when Jamal, that's when Andre shows up and let Cookie knows that he has an end with Mrs. Frost. And so Cookie's like, boy, you tell your mama the business. You tell me what's going on. And so then Jamal lets her know that, yes, she will take bribes and, you know, and all that other good stuff. And on top of that, she would also, um, she doesn't like thugs. So anything, any thug shit, she would just close on the casino, throw them out. So then Cookie goes, we're going to make this um, a biggie and Tupac times 10. And so it is what it is. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So, so Miss Leah kills her son. She kills him. <laughs> oh, anyway, so please like and subscribe. It was a lot going on. I'm out. Peace.